Well, I think we need to say good afternoon because by the time this comes out, Jimbo, it's going to be around lunchtime. It will be. So, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, Chris and Jim obviously here as part of Hobie Fishing. Um, as promised, we wanted to come back to you with the details of Series 14. Yes. Uh, for 2023, Jimbo. Um, we, we touched on this in our last catch up that we're as early as we've ever been. We're wanting to give as much notice as we can and let everybody sort of start to pre-plan because yeah. some of the dates that we're about to go through is going to make the first half or first quarter of 2023 a particularly busy period. Yeah, as it normally is, it's where we try to capitalise on you know, the best fishing venues yep. at that time of year and we die off a little bit in the middle and then we get back into it. Yeah, so it's end. warm, cold, warm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair weather fishermen. That's it. Um, all right, so we'll we'll go through these in order of location. Yes. Um, and I guess look, we, we did this a week ago. Yep. Um, we're gonna run through this pretty quickly, not too much commentary on it. It'll just give the guys and girls a chance to go, right, I need to jump on and book some accommodation. I need to look at some annual leave and hopefully see as many people to as many rounds as we possibly can. Yep. Um, Marlow, we said February, it's going to be the... 10th and 11th. 10th and 11th. So that'll be the kickoff to the season. So hopefully everyone's had the opportunity to, to get through Christmas, get through school holidays, you know, get the families back to school, and then we'll try and hit that round, you know, just after that, the start of the school year. Yep. Um, so this is, we're just going to go through the broom rounds quickly, and then we'll bounce back to the couple of freshwater events that we're looking at doing. Yep. So Camden Haven, um, as we did state, will be the next available round. It's going to run into March 4, 5. Yep. Um, and then I think, Jim, round three for BEM River, this is one that we did say last time. You wanted to try and get BEM back into this time of year? Yeah, I find the, the fish are in a little bit better condition after the spawn that normally happens in that October, November. Yep. Uh, also, I wanted to get it a little bit later because of the opening of BEM. Sure. It normally does tend to close early February. So yeah. we've got it pretty close sometimes. Yep. Uh, other times we've got it with the last And I think in the most recent times, right, it was as low as I've ever seen. It was it. open. Yep. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so by this time, uh, April 1 2? <laughs> April 1 2, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I think, as you said, we, we've got as much as we know how to get right right yep. and this will just be a, a really good change up for BEM Absolutely. Um, and we'll just see whether the bags are representative of that you know what once we get into that time so we'll see how that for one sure. goes um, round four we're going to go to Woi Woi and that's May 2021 it is yep so that's into May June um, we've got up there as our Sydney round so right now we're still going back and forth a little bit on the exact location but the aim is back to Connells Point Sailing Club correct yes um, so that one will be in June 17 18 yes um, and then of course I guess trying to find some warmth in July. The Gold Coast. Um, so we'll go up to the Goldie, and that's, what have we got there? The middle of July, mate. 15, 15 16. 16. Yep. So that, that'll be quite nice up there again. Um, you know, we're certainly looking to try and capitalise on that location being the premier spot at that time of year for all the right reasons of weather and, and good quality fish. It is. You know, that you're likely to get up there on the Gold Coast. It'd be great to see us get into kind of those 80s and 90s and even 100 anglers, Yeah. you know, for that particular event. We've sort of hovered around that kind of mid-70s. Yes. I think we can get another, you know, 20 or so people up to those events. Absolutely. Um, we're going to try and stay fairly close to home for round seven, which will be here on the basin. Back um, in September. So, we're, yep. yeah, 16th and 17th. It's... It's going to be all right. It'll be a, uh, a bit of a, a contrast, I think. You'll either get them deep or get them on the edge. You, you'll yep. probably still see both, but yep. you know, I guess it'll just be an interesting change-up. We've done this before. We've been in Basin, or at the Basin, at that time of the year, yep. over several series in the past. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to that one. Obviously, it's, just, it's nice to be able to sleep in your own bed. <laughs> For um, sure. So that's going to conclude, I guess, the seven rounds, I guess, on the East Coast. We do have some talk down here on the board in behind Brad here at the moment about obviously the WATA rounds yes. and also the South Australian rounds. And the details on that will will come out with as time goes on. We wanted to give the opportunity to both the guys at WADA and SA Brim the opportunity just to finalise their calendars and go through that. So Absolutely. we'll bring all of that detail to everybody just as soon as we do have that at hand. Yes. Um, we did speak about the AC at Cooter. Yeah. Um, so if you are game, 
and you believe that you're going to qualify for the Australian <laughs> Championship. Um, Jim, when have we got that one in? We are going November 15th through to the 19th. So the 15th will be the briefing, yep. mandatory briefing. You have to be there yep. and right through to the 19th. Yep. So, yeah, if you're game. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, that'll be cool. We're, we're super stoked to get back to Cooter. Um, yep. We were just having a quick chat before this just about launch locations and we'll we'll play around with that as we go along but yeah. um but look it is cooter um it is in mid-november we'll get the ac wound into the same calendar year yep which has been a little while in the making it is um it's not right it's not wrong it just puts it into that year and we'll see how that rolls over yeah. if we need to make adjustments to that we can we can do that as we move along we do um we spoke about our hobie open series which is a couple of events that are the freshwater rounds yes um this year we will in fact start that yeah um so just making sure that everybody's aware of it the the cod round will be part of the cod classic it'll be tied up with the guys down there with tony um it's run by those that that organization committee from our perspective we are i guess the naming rights sponsor for our division and it will be tied into their event so as much yep. as anything this is a is i guess hobie as us turning around and supporting what we think is a really really great event yeah that's right um and it's a sensational social catch-up um i think in years gone by they've had up to three three and a half thousand people um, you know, at this event. So this is on a scale unlike <laughs> we really know. Very true. Um, but we're really looking forward to getting down there and supporting that event. And we will be taking the trailer, we'll be taking a few tents, a bit of product as well. It'll just... be down there on display. Yep. So we get to kind of do a little bit of both. We'll yeah. have, the, I guess, a commercial opportunity from our end. It'll be a great catch up with the anglers. Um, be some power pole bits and pieces kicking around. There'll be all sorts of stuff going on. It's a real really great atmosphere for everything that we've seen today. That's it. Um, so we're going to flick quickly back to what we were talking about. There's the busy part of the, the yeah. first quarter of the year, kind that, of that, that February, March, February, April, March April. Yep. is, yeah, I mean, lock yourselves in, strap yourselves in. It's we're going gonna to make up for this little bit of a lull. Very <laughs> much so. Um, so we spoke about February 10 and 11 being Marlow, and then we roll into Camden Haven at 4, 5 March. Yep. We're then going to go to the back end of March, which is going to be Epilock in Victoria to yes. do the Goldens. Yes. So just so that everyone gets that again, uh, Lake Epilock in Victoria, March 25, 26, mm -hmm. is going to be that particular event. You're then going to bounce back to Bem River. Yes. In the first part of April. And we're going to bounce to the back end of April to go to... Sinclair. Yeah, to do the bass. So, and that's going to be the 29th and 30th. Correct. Uh, it's Lake Sinclair campgrounds. Nice. Yeah. So the campgrounds there, I think there's about a hundred sites. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a really good, fun atmosphere, that particular event. Looking I think it's a great to it. time of year. Yeah. Uh, it's a great location, and I think it's just going to be a, a fantastic social catch up. Probably a little bit over and above, I guess, some of our other rounds. Yeah. You know, I guess being able to stay directly on the lake's edge, you're right there. You're kind of locked in. You, you know, what you bring in is what you're is, having for dinner what and everything. What's so. happening. So um, I think we've got a couple of little bits and pieces that we'd like to try and do for that one. So we'll we'll share a little bit more of that. Yep. The details about entries for all of these two guys and girls, we're going to run all of that back into the early part of next year. So um, we'll try and get all the info sheets up as soon as we can. So if you can give us a couple of weeks mm -hmm. um, just to, to work our way through those info sheets. Um, but entries, just so that it's we're, we're kind of loud and clear on that, it'll be open round by round as opposed to blanket, and we'll have a look at that in the first part of 2023. Yes. Um, there'll be at least four or five weeks, you know, before the first event is is when we'll get those rounds open. Um, mate, you gave me some sensational <laughs> news yesterday. Um, you're only about a couple of hours away, about to head off to Spain. Yes. To head over to the Hobie 16 Worlds. Yes. Um, you rang late yesterday afternoon. I was out for a minute and it was like, check your email. Yep. All right. The reason that Jim rang yesterday afternoon is to do with the approval that we have just received for our Grand Prix. Um, this event, as we've spoken about it a few rounds, is completely standalone. It's entirely different to anything that's, I think, ever been done. Yeah. Um, not only through Hobie, but I think as a kayak fishing event in Australia period. Yep. So we're talking about, it'll be an increased buy-in, but then it's a significantly increased payout. Yep. Um, 
we have locked in some dates. So I think looking at, what are we today, mate? We're the 8th? 8th of September. 8th of September. So in around, not quite six weeks, near enough to? Yeah, maybe even so. We are headed to Bayview Reserve in Pittwater. And that is going to be the location for our Grand Prix event. Um, so that's October 22 and 23. Um, we will have some details on the info sheet up by early next week. So stay on the lookout for that. As soon as the info sheet goes up, the entries will be open at the same time. So that's going to be a prize of a first place is going to take home. A PA14 360 limited edition papaya camo. So if you take what Babs won at the <laughs> AC in an Outback format, it's the same colorway format that you're going to see in a PA14 360. Very, so very there nice. will be a choice mm -hmm. on that one. So it can either be the kayak or it can be a lump of cash. Now that lump of cash pending entries, we are aiming for first price to have, first prize I should say, to have the opportunity to take away either that PA14 360 or somewhere in that vicinity of about seven and a half thousand bucks in cash. It'll be first, second, third payout. Yep. So pit water, mm -hmm. Bayview Reserve, back end of October, get yourselves ready. Yeah, strap yourself in for this one. <laughs> so look, we'd love to see at least 100 anglers on the water for this particular event. Yeah. Um, I think we spoke yesterday briefly about how many guys or girls do you think this opportunity might bring back that we might not have seen for a little while? How many guys and girls do you think this might draw out of particular the guys and girls that might otherwise be boating? That might yeah. be doing something part of ABT or any of the other series that are out there running around in the boats. Yep. Is that a lure? to bring a oh, different sort of class well, of, of angler, or a different uh, angler in general. Hobie's always had great little, great little channels into going other parts of the world and Absolutely. doing other great things. This is a Pro Angler 360. <laughs> this is pretty cool. We, we've never done anything like it. Uh, it's uh, as much a reward, I'm hoping, um, as a thanks to all of the people that are involved with what we do. Um, but it, it was time to kind of amp that right up. Um, we've had a, a rough couple of years with COVID and different things going on. Let's try and celebrate, I guess, the opportunity to get back to doing these things and probably not, not that we took advantage of it, I don't think, in, in times gone by, but I just don't think we all truly appreciated what we had yeah, for sure. um, and the ease of being able to get around. So Bayview Reserve, Pitwater, October 22 and 23 for the inaugural Hobie Kayak Fishing Grand Prix. Mm-hmm. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There is a layout for what we're going to have a Series 14 in 2023. And we have our Grand Prix for October of this year. Jimbo, safe travels. Thank you. Um, you are away for a few weeks. So um, hope everything goes well over there. It, it should be a blast. Yes. Um, I think the weather's pretty good over there. You'll be getting away from some of the cooler weather over here. Yeah. Um, so go off and enjoy that. And uh, we wish all of the crew um, that are involved with that particular event, all the very best. And uh, yeah, it'd be really interesting to see who comes out on top of, uh, of the next, you know, Hobie Sailing Worlds. Absolutely. All right, um, I think that'll do us. We'll wrap that up. Um, have a look at those dates and locations, get your accommodation, get your uh, annual leave and all of those things booked in. Um, and definitely keep your eyes and ears open for the info sheet to do with the Grand Prix. And, uh, and we'll have the entries open for that just as soon as that entry, um, oh sorry, that info sheet comes up. Um, and the calendar details, we will have all of these dates and the like lined up yep. online on Hobie Fishing later on today. Yep. All right, that's it from us. So signing off from Hobie Fishing, we look forward to seeing all of those entries rolling in for the Grand Prix and definitely look forward to kicking off Series 14 uh, in February at Marlow early next year. We do. Thanks, Jimbo. Cheers. See you, bye.